Hello, this is Justin Seven, and this week I'm here to talk to you about free money and in-game betting on soccer. What is free money? Free money is an opportunity that repeats itself over and over and the market seems oblivious to what should happen. Uh, you see this occasionally with teasers, with correlated parlays, and frequently on in-game betting and soccer. I want you to take a look at this line set. Here are three different games, and I want you to look at the first half lines and compare them to the game lines. You will see here in the England USA match, it's roughly one goal for the first half and two and a half for the game. And in fact, you see that similar relationship in all three games Germany, Austria, and Argentina, Argentina, Korea, Republic. Again, it's a two and a half for the game and one for the first half. If you look at this line set, it's, it suggests roughly 40% of the scoring will happen in the first half and 60% will happen in the second half. And you see a similar relationship on this ratio in in-game betting. So if you, for example, have a total of two and a half before the game and the, in the very first minute there's a goal, you'll see the total for the in-game go up to three and a half. So it goes up one goal, still assuming that for the next 90 minutes you're going to have 40% of the scoring going forward in the first half and 60% of the scoring going forward in the second half. There is this market belief that scoring goes up in the second half blindly. You know, is it players getting tired, is it substitutions, or is it you know some other factor that causes this to happen in the second half. But for whatever the cause of this belief, you always see the scoring change in in-game betting this way. You know, it goes up basically one goal as soon as there's that first score. And that's not necessarily the best way to do in-game betting. I'm going to show you a different way to look at it. If you look at how scoring has happened, and I'm going to pick two tournaments. We're going to look at the 2006 World Cup and we're going to look at the 2006 UFA tournament. In the last World Cup, on average, your first goal was scored after 41 and a half minutes. And once that first goal happened, there were scores about every 33 minutes after that. Uh, and similarly, if you look at the UFA Cup, UFA tournament, the first goal happened after an average of 41.8 minutes. And after that, additional goals were every 34 minutes. So, now that would be consistent with more scoring in the second half, but you have to say, hmm, is there possibly another cause? And I would argue, once that first goal is scored in most games, teams change their strategies. They start playing, the losing team plays more players forward, the winning team frequently plays more defensively and launches counterattacks. The net effect uh, is the scoring pace goes up. Uh, it goes up by a rate, you know, about 20-25%. Now, does this early score in really increase the pace, or am I just crazy? Well, one thing I looked at was what happened when there was an early score in the game. Did the you know pace go up? And in the World Cup of 2006, if there was a first half goal, the pace immediately went up to a goal every 33.4 minutes, which is consistent with more scoring than you'd expect if you're using the regular game total of two and a half. Similarly, in the UFA tournament, if there was a first half score, uh, the pace immediately went up to 34.4 minutes. So scoring, you know, went up substantially in both of these immediately. So how would you exploit this? Well, there are two situations when you're going to find free money in live betting. The first is if you have an uh, early score. For example, you have a score in the first or second minute. Then for the rest of the game, instead of there being a, Instead of you expecting it to take 41, 42 minutes for the next goal, as you would in a regular first half line, that next goal's expectation is probably 34 minutes out. So basically, you're getting a free 8 minutes if you start betting the over. So anytime you have a first half score, you know, say in the first 30 minutes, there's frequently going to be value betting the over. Now there's another situation that offers value also, and that is if there is no score in the first half. If you go 60 minutes, for example, into the game, um, the longer you wait with no score, the longer it takes before that pace goes up. So if there's 60 minutes into a game with no score, your expectation for the next goal is still 41 minutes. And the market will frequently treat it as though the second half pace is already kicked up and expect it in 34 minutes. So in that case when you have a scoreless game late into a game, you frequently find value betting the under. Now if you're going to bet this, don't take my word for it, do your own research. and develop your own spreadsheet. It's pretty easy to do a spreadsheet to bet on this. You know, you, set, you assume your first goal of a game will be in X minutes and each subsequent goal will be in Y minutes. 
and use the ratios you see and you'll just kind of be shocked that the market is systematically wrong on this. This has been an excerpt of a chapter of mine called Free Money coming in a book Conquering Risk that will be due out in the end of July. This is Justin Seven. If you have any gambling related questions, feel free to send me an email.